So let's go over our, our cross single, okay? What I want to do with this one is I'm, I'm reaching deep across uh, my body here, okay? Traditionally, if I pull with this hand, I'm going to go back this way for a single. So what I want to do is I'm going to shoot with my cross hand here, like I'm shooting a high C, but I'm keeping my head inside. And uh, some of the more important points about this is how I'm changing my level and moving my feet. So to use this, what I want to do is when I approach him, I want to go to the elbow tie. All right? I want to get elbow control here. Okay? Keep my head across the body, getting elbow control. And once I do that, I want to make sure I pull Albert here to get him to step. Once he's stepped, I got to take another step myself. Okay? I got to change level here, taking a step here. See that? Change level when I'm stepping to his body and I'm dropping my opposite hand here, going here, catching the back of his thigh. Okay? Change level, grab him here, and when I do that, this hand, I'm looking to pull it over top of my body. So here, pull it over top, and once I do that, I'm going to pull myself around his leg like I'm swinging around a pole like back in the elementary school days. Okay? So here, I pull him here, step, step deep. Stepping outside of his foot here, here, not inside. Once I get here, reach, and I'm pulling the elbow over top, looking to shoot my hand to the mat here, okay? The farther back I get on his leg, the better, okay? I don't want to be out here. I want to be behind his ankle here with my knee. So once I get here, I'm staying high by posting my hand on the mat and keeping my shoulder tight to his body, my head tight to his body. Once I get here, I can drop to the ankle, okay? then I can look to clamp, okay? So when, when, once I pick his ankle up, I step up here, okay? Once I do that, I can let go and clamp, okay? So I can take a hold of his knee here and have good control, okay? A very important thing here is how tight I stay to his body, okay? What I wanna do here is like, I wanna clamp his leg with this, this side of my body, with my ear and my shoulder. So once I get here, I want to clamp it. Post this hand here, and I'm squeezing my, my ear to his thigh, okay? And then everything else is helping me to control. But if Alba goes to rotate his body or whatever, say I let go of the leg here, he goes to turn out this way, I can stay close to him by just pivoting. Okay, if he keeps turning, all I got to do is keep rotating with him. Keeps going, all I got to do is keep moving this hand. So I'm doing here, I'm pivoting and I'm staying tight. No matter how much he has moved, I'm still in good position here, okay? I'm still in good position because I'm tight here, I'm holding him here, and even if he grabs my wrist here, my inside wrist here, it's not a concern to me, okay? Because I'm in a really good position. He can keep this all he wants, because now I, I have his, his, his leg here. I can pick it up, shelf, okay? Once I shelf it, I gotta go into him. Now I can finish, okay? And if he's still holding on to my hand, come back up, Bert. If he's still holding on to my hand here, once I shelf and start going into him, it doesn't matter. He's going to let go or I'm going to finish anyway. 